Hi everyone. Hey, welcome back. We are going to be talking about the uh, the twig golems today. Yes, and you can see that um, now there was a couple of monsters and things that I did where I didn't have any background at all, and I thought you know it makes it a little boring. So I just threw in a little bit of blue uh, in the background for like a sky color or whatever, and a shadow mm. underneath before I started painting in the actual golems. And the first one I'm doing, he's made out of like an old corn husk or something like that. And so he has kind of an orangey-brown color base. And these guys look like they would be kind of difficult to paint because there's a lot of stuff going on with them. Actually, believe it or not, it's easier to paint them that way. Because if you even have a jacked up brush, you can still... You want to have a lot of texture in them. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're going in the direction of the texture, there's kind of no bad way to paint them. Oh, interesting. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you can have like a... If you paint outside the lines, it's not so bad. Yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, it's a little f fringy here and there. And, you know, they're tied up with... Uh, they're made out of like leaves and twigs and bark and stuff like that. So if it's a little messy looking, it makes them look normal. And then these were like little dudes that you could like make out of, yeah, like you said, corn husk or sticks, mm -hmm. and then they would kind of animate. Straw, yeah, twist them together. Yeah, they'd animate and like go do little things for you. Yeah. And what I did is I referenced a lot of like little um, corn husk and straw dolls. Oh, that were made in uh, northern and eastern Europe uh, for little kids or little ceremonies and things like that. And uh, so I found a lot of them online. So I based them off of these little little dolls. Hmm. So and uh, so now we're, we went from medium, we put in the darks, and now we're putting the lights in at, over the top here. And we're painting from background to foreground. And since he's in the back... He's, he's in back of the stick, the big twig golem. Um, you paint him first. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It just makes it easier. So you're not painting around things. You're painting over things. Yeah, it just so makes it a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now putting in some real highlights to make him a little lighter colored. So he looks more three-dimensional and real. And he's, like, so creepy looking with the, the no face. <laughs> yeah. Like, they're cute, but they're also, like, creepy and weird. <laughs> that's like, what everybody says, yeah. which I which I thought was funny because that's what I wanted. I wanted him cute but creepy. And so far, that's everybody's opinion. So I'm very happy that everyone <laughs> agrees with me. <laughs> <laughs> and so now this one just took longer because all these little sticks and stuff, uh, you just have to paint them in all by hand. And yes, you have to do every single one individually, for the most part. And it just takes time. And then you got to go back and highlight them all? Yes, you do. Well, <laughs> Which takes even more time. <laughs> that's why we have a fast-forward button on here, Ben. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I mean, the original on this was like several hours. We yes. were playing this, I think, at 1,200% speed or yeah. something. Uh -huh. Yeah, and so this one is like a, a bundle of sticks... And these tie together with uh, little strips of bark or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he's like a little bigger. And a yeah, little he's a little bigger. He's he's like about a foot tall, and the other guy's like he's like four or five, maybe six inches tall, real tiny. Yeah, just enough to pull the bacon off your bread and run away with it. <laughs> <laughs> like my cat. Was, yes. <laughs> like my cat did when I went up to like put my kid away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the kitty cat came down right before we filmed this and nibbling on, on Ben's bacon on his plate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm putting in darks. So I've established um, a light source, which is kind of overhead to the little, little bit to the left. And so I will put the dark stuff uh, on the right and on the lower sides. And now I'm painting in all the darks. And then after I'm done with that, I'll put the lights on the top, just like I did with the other little golem behind. And then you left some of the stuff up in his hair, like the original base color, just for that yeah, and like a little bit of give it a little bit. Of yeah, life. a little bit of color, a little bit of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And that hair dryer just makes everything go faster. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hair dryer under my desk where I write my stuff now because my kid likes the white noise. It helps him sleep. So oh, he just like, likes the noise of a hair dryer. Yeah, yeah. I just oh, turn wow. it on cold and then he'll like he'll, he'll sleep. So <laughs> now we both have like hair dryers. Mine's less colorful than yours, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got the wild stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. And now we're going to start to put lights on. And um, when I mean lights, I mean uh, medium. And here's a lot of blue. Because the background has some blue in it, what you want to do is throw in some of that background color to give it uh, a more realistic three-dimensionality. Mm. Because if you don't have any background color in it at all, it looks weird. It looks out of place. The blue would? You, no, if you didn't put blue in there. Mm. Mm-hmm. And this is an old uh, comic book technique, too, old painter technique, where you throw that stuff in, and it gives it that uh, solidity to the background. Mm -hmm. And also gives you a secondary light source, so it adds a little more life to it. Almost like he's reflecting. Yes, because everything reflects, but some things reflect more than others. Obviously, metal, if it's polished, is very reflective. But wood can still reflect things, too. And you just throw that in. And now I'm going to be putting my browns in on top of that. And you'll see it'll give it more life to it. Yeah, he really looks like he's in motion. He looks like he's shambling. Yes. You can, like, <laughs> he's see he's running moving. around. <laughs> the other one looks a little bit more agile. And he looks a little bit more big. Uh-huh. Yeah, because um, I didn't have a, I don't have anything in the background that that gives you a size ratio for these guys. Oh, so yeah. I mean, in reality, these guys could be like you know, eight feet tall. I mean, you don't know, but uh, they are supposed to be small. So that's the one thing I didn't do is uh, put something in the background or something in front of them that would give you a size. Oh, like that would that yeah. would be how you would show that. Yeah, it'd be the only way. Unless you put a ruler right up next to them. I went, Here we go. <laughs> That's how big they are. Just wrote actual size underneath Yes, them. actual size. 12 inches tall. <laughs> and now here I'm putting in my uh, brown color highlights. That's going to give us our wood color. And you can see this guy's really starting to bounce out of the background oh, yeah. here. Did you ever paint the one running with the chicken finger? The chicken wing? No, I, I just did a... <laughs> I just did a sketch of that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then one of my art students loved it so much she bought... Actually, she bought all the drawings I did for the stick golems. Or the twig golems. Yeah. So. And she wanted to try to do a, a, a re reproduction of one of those. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she bought it in your D&D &D game also. Yes, she also... She bought it in real life and in the D&D &D game. <laughs> yeah, so thank you, Valerie. I greatly appreciate it. How have they been working out in, in the game? Oh, just uh, everyone's having a blast with them. Yeah, they, they use them for all sorts of stuff. Uh, usually luring monsters away and uh, lighting things on fire. So they're like little mobile bombs. <laughs> do you light them on fire or do they carry bombs they carry they carry bombs or like flaming bottles of oil or stuff with them yeah mm -hmm. so everybody's usually has one or two stuffed into their backpack and they pull them out they animate them and <laughs> they run off and do fun things <laughs> and now I'm uh, using my white paint to paint in the around when I color it outside the lines to clean up the edges and we're just about done awesome all right. Well, thanks, Brian. This was cool. And Thank uh, you, everybody. We'll yeah. see you next time. See you next time.